Some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Two balls and a strike. Here comes Cronenworth. He takes it on his own. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. Back here at Dodger Stadium at the play, Manny Machado. See Manny Machado, what a player he's turned into. Multiple gold gloves multiple all-star appearances and a guy who was the third overall pick in the 2010 draft behind Bryce Harper and Jamison Tyone. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, it's so great to see him put together such an awesome career when early on he had those issues with his knees, if you remember, and we were wondering if that was going to hurt him long term. Kind of a thin kid, but he started to grow into his body and that man strength has come over the years. Soto. Here's Juan Soto, and he's already singled in this game. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Two outs, bases empty. Xander Bogarts, the next up for the Padres. And that's just foul. Bogarts measures six feet, two inches. Batting in the cleanup spot, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. Out there to center. Outman under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. As we go to the last of the third and at the plate for the Dodgers Max Muncy the line to kick the pitch there's a swing and a drive that one's got a chance gone Max Muncy leaves the yard and they add a run it's five zip and Martinez Hit by a pitch his first time up. That misses, and it's 1 0. Martinez, multi time all star, a member of the 1000 hit club, and he's usually. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. The biggest concern, other than injury, after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Cronenworth. Goes to second, safe there. No play, that's an infield single. David Peralta steps to the plate for the Dodgers. In the air, left field, down the line, and that will drop foul. The 0-1. Ball one there. And 
And it gets down for a base hit. J.D. Martinez headed home. He scores, and it's now a six-run lead. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And that one fouled off. No out. Your attention, Your attention please. please. Now, now pitching for please. San Diego. The pitch. Number 71. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor singled and scored his first time. That misses the zone. 1 0. Hater, an all star a season ago. He features a two seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Now 3 and 0. Oh. Outman, the runner at third. Peralta at first, one gone. And that'll Ooh. load the bases. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and now guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Barnes swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. And fouled off. The pitch. And ball one. Where will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that? The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Here's Mookie now. And that ends the inning. Back here in L.A., now it's the D.H., Matt Carpenter. Outfield playing straight up now. Syndergaard back to work. He was late there, strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The wind of the pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. The first base is number nine. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him in the 15 draft in the seventh round. Grew up playing a, a lot of hockey. Eventually made his big league debut with the Padres. Chris, he's been an all-star twice. A couple of singles back-to-back. -back. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Late that time, and it's strike two. Yeah, and when he came up to the big leagues, just seeing how quickly he was comfortable, looked like a veteran player. Ah, and this ball gets down. It's a hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. To the plate for one. On to Freddie. Double play. Versatile player defensively. Can play all over the place. In college, he was a two-way guy. They not only used him as a middle infielder, but he closed games, and the Rays actually used him that way. And now this is down for a base hit. Oh, he throws it away. 
Picks himself uh -oh. up in RBI. Uh -oh. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Going one. Oh, and one. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Freddie. Here comes a pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Oh, Boog, I know how much you love free stuff, and this offense has to love a free base runner to start this inning, even if it hurts a little bit. We'll see if they can do anything with it. Muncy lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Freeman leads off second with nobody out. Check swing, went around, and the count's full. And now the lefty stays alive. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now, and here is J.D. Martinez. First offering misses badly for ball one. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Machado. And Martinez is out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hit. Yeah. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And it falls. Here comes Freddie around third. He'll score easily. It's 7-1. Waste no time there. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you not too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Peralta at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. In the dirt, well done behind the dish. Next offering is downstairs. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That one fouled off. Two and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Manny Machado now. The pitch. Machado. That's a laser base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. That's a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that at bat. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And a pitch. Strike two. Bogarts. Who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. That one the other way. To second, that's one. On to Freddie. Double play. Matt Carpenter getting ready to hit. 
looking for. That one pushed to the left and foul. And the righty deals. And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And the batter now, Miguel Vargas. The pitch. Foul ball. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Got him swinging. And next for L.A., Chris Taylor. Your attention, please. Now, please, for Ben Wilson. Number 36, Steve Aiden Wilson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 0 oh 1. Next one that's off the strike. plate inside. 1 and 1. Right handed reliever. Swing and a miss oh, no. as he was late that time. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Austin Barnes now at the plate. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, not close. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And Top of the sixth inning. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Syndergaard back to work. Hard hit to third. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. No Nola, the batter now, as he oh, swings and misses for strike one. And strike two. Oh, well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. The punch out there. So he's gotten 
deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue stepping in for San Diego ha Sung Kim swing and a miss Kim 27 years old and he's a native of South Korea in the air out to center he's got it and that'll end the inning Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Mookie Betts. And here it comes. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Just missed. It's a good take. Machado and Betts oh. is gone here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit Tatis makes the grab two down here comes Max Muncy he's already homer here in this one and yeah, the first That's offering is not close. Muncy measures six feet even, 215 pounds, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2012. Just off the outside edge, two balls and a strike. Good eye right there. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. 3-1 is on the way. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Next offering is in for a strike. J.D. Martinez, part of that Red Sox team that won over 100 games in 2018 and won it all. He was one of the... Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Back here at Dodger Stadium. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. The pitch. Late on that fastball. And I think you could credit J.D. Martinez with a lot of the success that that offense had because he took things to another level in terms of his preparation, watching video, paying attention to detail, and his teammates fed off that. Righty to the plate. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. So digging in, Fernando Tatis Jr., one for three. Now, now, now. The right fielder, right Fernando, Fernando Tatis Jr. And that one hit to first. Freeman takes it himself and two away to start the seventh. Two outs, base is empty. The and now it's Manny Machado. 14. Manny Machado. And that one ripped to left. Base hit. So the inning is still alive with Juan Soto coming to the dish. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Soto at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. At the belt and fires. Well struck right field. And it's off the wall. Vargas relay to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Machado at third. Soto on at second with two down. Strike two. That one down the line, and it goes just foul.
cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Bottom of the seventh. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. And the right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And there's a ball. And another ball. Pitch misses there. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. David Peralta steps to the plate for the run around the move. Pitch misses in. And he throws it away. Throw into center field. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Runner goes again. Pitch in for a strike. And that's a stolen base, not even close. That's down. One hops off the wall. He's in safely at second as a run scores. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. No outs. Runner on second. Hauls it in for the out. Now it's the shortstop, Chris Taylor. A strikeout and a walk. First offering, misses the mark. Runner at second here, one gone. Next pitch way upstairs. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. And that should be extra bases. Peralta around third. He will score, and it's 9-2. And he'll pull him to third with an RBI triple. Well done. Drives in the run. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. This one in the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Runner on at third, one gone. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Kicks and deals. Good eye right there. To second, and that's not it. And the throw gets away. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering way upstairs. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. You know, he'll act like he really wanted to hit, but he's as happy as anyone that he got hit by that pitch just to turn this lineup over back to the top. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hater deals. That one is absolutely belted back there. That one is gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out. And they tack on to their lead. It's 
Drive home safely.